Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. We are after hours on Thursday at the San Diego Comic Con, and I'm going to be telling you the 10 things you have to buy while you're here. She has no idea what, what I've picked up. I don't. So this is going to be a complete surprise for her. I've spent the entire day roaming the main hall here, getting all of the details. We've got Funko, we've got Lego, we've got comics, we've got pins. I've got all the good stuff. You got art? I promise. We've got music starting in the background, which I was avoiding being after hours, but it, it, it'll, it'll pop in. It's a little bit chaotic. I'm going to be leaving links down below that'll include a link or a name of the item that I'm talking about and a na number of the booth so that if you're here at Comic-Con, you can actually find what we are talking about as easily you know all that? as possible. Oh, I'm going to be, no, I'm not going to be saying them. That's why I'm saying I'm leaving links down I'm below, impressed. Shira. I spent Links the day taking below. a nap, so I'm bright-eyed and bushy-tailed You're just, now. you're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed? Yeah. Great. Let's see I, what you got. I'm gonna start by, over where I actually started my journey itself. If you start all the way on the other end of the convention hall from where we are right now, the highest numbers, like the five or six thousands, right? Yeah. You're going to be looking at Artist Row. It's right next to Funko, and I'm gonna start with the Funko Limited Edition that I was able to pick up. How did you get that? So, one of our community members here at Quackalope actually had access to the line, and I got the Comic-Con uh, limited edition Funko. I'm gonna have B-roll of all this That's stuff too. That's insane. This is the Penguin, uh, the classic rubber duck moving down the aisle. It is glorious. It's insane. I wanted to get it for you, and I asked them numerous, numerous yeah. times. They're like, you have to come after, like, after everyone who has a ticket yeah. has gotten online. It was going to be impossible, and I resigned myself to not getting it. So there are some community groups where you can find access to this. You also have the chance, if you're willing to wait in line, to grab some of the exclusive or some of the more limited things. That being said, Funko does work on a lottery system, so it might not be 100% guaranteed. Now, right below Funko is Artist's Row, yeah. and I picked up from Beth Radloff, one of the coolest three try sets of illustrations I have ever seen. So, number one, I used to have time for video games. <laughs> number two, at least I'm trying. And that one's addressed to you. And to number Quackalope. three, my plants keep dying. This is a three part artistic rendering of, let's say, birds with uh, existential crises. Now, these are not the only ones they have. They have a set of nine over there and a lot of other fantastic artwork as well. I want to get these hung on the wall. I love the fact that they are kind of my life in bird form. You, you tried to keep plants alive? I, sure, what happened to my uh, cherry blossom tree in the front? Died. What happened to the pine tree that I tried to plant? Died. That never got planted? Died. What happened to the Lego botanicals that we have around the house? I keep them alive by building them. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I would kill them. I've actually probably broken a few of them. Yes. I'm going to move over towards the other thing that I found in Artist's Row, which I think is so flipping cool. Uh, oh. I stumbled across a indie, an indie artist working on some really great comic book series. This is the first five from this set. This is Beastlands, Keepers of the Kingdom, and uh, these are going to be the first two in his brand new set. How is this duck related? It, so, the artist, the designer, the writer himself uh, drew a little quackalope that here in the front count. corner. Uh, he said he's going to put some ducks into these, so this one's not duck related. Uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, this comic book, this comic book series. I've started flipping through them. The artwork is gorgeous. One of the things that for me seals the deal with comic books is full color art that doesn't lie to me on the cover. I want the books to be as pretty on the inside with the storytelling, with the artistic renderings as they are on the front. And these grabbed my attention and they held it. So swing over there to Artist Row and take a closer look if you have time. One point off for it not being exclusively duck related. Excuse you, this is not all duck related, Shira. You, you've said. It's not, it's not all. Let's talk about Lego. So Lego, Lego has a, Lego does not have any exclusive sets here at Comic Con, but what they do have they have early access sets, and then they have their Lego micro packs here, which are available if you play the vending machine system. I didn't have a chance to do it this morning because I was waiting in line for pins, which will be in my yeah. sheerest troves of useless things. But so I grabbed did. a Lego classic set. These are full of ideas. Uh, we have a snowman. We have a little sheep. It looks like, and we have a duck. Uh, this I'm is going impressed to be the Lego. that you got a duck in there. This is the Lego Duck Edition set. 
let's keep going through. Let's talk about let's talk about some cool things. Probably the biggest purchase I made while here at the con is going to be the skew, the slew of amazing artists that are here on the show floor. And they're just sitting at their booths. You can talk with them, you can ask them about their designs, and you can get them to sign the nonsense that you want to buy. And I found one of the coolest things. I found the anatomy of, of a, a duck. Now this is coming from uh, TED, or Talks for Billionaires. Uh, this is a series from Sheldon Comics. Uh, this came from a book specifically, The Anatomy of Animals, which is a comedic take on what actually builds and designs creatures. Uh, and let's just say uh, this one is for a duck. And I did the weird thing of asking the creator to customize his own artwork for me. Uh, there might be a little quackalope down there in the corner now, which he said was the first time he'd ever asked someone He'd ever been asked by someone to draw on his own artwork. Really? And he thought it was really cool because right next to uh, that little baby duck, it says... Look, things happen. And he just thought that was apropos for uh, the conversation. That's awesome. So this was a really cool... I really cool... like this. I'm going to have to look at him more because I think it's really funny as well. Uh, I'm going to read it. You grab yeah. more stuff. Well, I mean, I'm grabbing something now so you don't have long to read. Never got the memo on chokers. She's like, also, I'm not going to read it on camera. I'm just going to sit and read it silently by myself. What's this? Okay, the next thing that I got, something that I've seen on Instagram, I've seen on the internet, I think it's one of the coolest displays, uh, is going to be this piece of artwork here. Uh, I forget what this one, this one's called the massive Market. massive glare, so watch where I know, your this one. Are. This one's called the Market, I believe, I'm not entirely sure, but this is a artist's rendition of the Pokemon world. And he has a lot of these, full of beach vibes and Pokemon that just are in everyday world. This one's kind of tragic. I like this. This one's kind of tragic because they're buying uh, other <gasps> Pokemon. Oh no! Which is, a little, which is a little horrifying. However, you also go there and you get to roll to see if you get a shiny print or not. I got a shiny print with the blue Psyduck in here. Uh, if you didn't, all of them would be yellow. And uh, the artist himself was there behind the booth. He got a chance to sign this for me. This is one of the coolest things I stumbled on, period. I'm really thrilled to not That's only have a print, but also have a print with the artist's signature on it. Yeah. I think that makes artwork so much more special when you yeah. have the signature on it. You can get so much stuff customized to like you and your fandom and, and, and kind of what you do. All right, what moving on, let's talk about some of the pins that I decided to grab. I grabbed this little jackalope pin, uh, and this is from Voider. Uh, I think this is enamel pin collection. Uh, so there's so many pins around the con. You're gonna be able to find the ones you want, but I thought a little jackalope was apropos. And then I also grabbed from Grizz Pop a fat Psyduck pin, uh, which just fits into the nature of all the duck stuff that we're doing well, I thought you were here. talking about it fits in because you're fat. It's just a little harsh there, Shira. I grabbed myself some Disney ducks uh, in Elsa and a uh, Mickey Mouse. Do they squeak? They do no. not squeak. Nope, you need to install uh, plugs in them for them to squeak. I grabbed myself a few of uh, Howard the Duck comics. Specifically, I loved, uh, so him versus the washing machine, uh, him versus the magicians, and here, from the oven it rises, him versus uh, literally a cookie which I think is lovely. Uh, if you happen to swing through Simon's booth, which is one of the only board game booths here, you're going to be able to get yourself a copy of the Grey Hulk Marvel United expansion pack. Not duck related at all. This is just another alternative version to play the, gray, play the Hulk uh, character in your base box. Very excited about that, very excited to have that. And then I think we're coming down to some of the last stuff, or the very last stuff. I got a set of books uh, from Effin Birds, and the writer himself, the writer and the artist himself signed these, and these are just uh, basically taking out his life troubles, uh, like here, eat my turds. <laughs> taking out his anger and frustration with the world paired with amazing birds. birds. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be handwriting these and sending these out to Patreon members whenever I send them care packages. Aww. I think it's going to be amazing. And we are nearly out of time here on the video. They only record up to 10. But I got one last thing from uh, Unpossible, Unpossible Cutes. Uh, Shira, that is going to be a little set of duck, uh, rubber duck earrings. <laughs> 
I could be poke the holes in your ears? No, these are for you, surprisingly Please? enough. So that's gonna be the 10 things that we exactly. think you absolutely have to buy here at Comic-Con. Hopefully you've enjoyed this duck-focused experience of the convention. Yeah, yeah. I mean, did you expect anything less than me to spend literally 10 hours today hunting for every duck item possible? Probably not. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.